so hello everyone welcome to another video of this mini zombie playlist in the previous video of this playlist we have made things like the basic setup zombie following the character and everything about weapon so make sure to check out those videos and now in this video we are going to make switching mechanism between the character so you can switch between players according to the need and now let's get started with the video so first we'll add another character I got this character named Diego from the asset store. Now let's add him to the scene and resize him. And also I'll duplicate this text object to display the health of this new character. I'll just duplicate it and let it be health number two. And now let's quickly make this character working. For that, I'll just copy and paste codes from Chloe and just change it to our new character. For this, copy and paste the code and change Chloe to our new character. And be careful while doing this, cause if not done properly, it can lead to unusual bugs. And obviously, as he is the second character of the story, he will have some different functionalities. And so, we'll only copy things that are common in both characters, like running, jumping, basically normal movement, hurt and death. So I'll just copy and paste the things and after that, we'll make the differentiations. And yes, make sure to check out previous videos in which I have explained everything in detail. So I've just copy and pasted everything and also I've arranged the code so it won't look messy. And here as you can see, I've only copied and pasted the character movement and attack and death. And not shooting because that will be the differentiation part of our new character. And by the way, do not copy this knife code as we do not have knife in the new character. And now let's make shooting mechanism for our new character. But before we start, let me just make a health display for the new character. Let's start by giving him the platformer character behavior. Let's uncheck the default controls and we'll also add a behavior for firing the bullets. Just hit apply and we'll change the settings later on. And also I've added some of the variables that were common in Chloe like health, death and shoot. And now let's see what we have to do in the events. So first we'll add an event group and we'll name it shoot. Just drag it under the character 2 and add an event inside it. And in the condition add if boolean value of object variable of the new character and choose the variable death is false. So when he's alive then only he's going to shoot and now add a sub event in this event and in the condition add a mouse button click select this one and select the left button and now add another sub event and check if boolean value of scene variable that is shooting but this variable right here is for chloe so we'll change it to one for denoting it for our new character and in the action add fire bullets select this one and select Diego oh we just forgot to assign a point let's just do that first just go to the character and in the edit points add a point for shoot and drag it to the weapon and now let's fill these spaces. First, select the bullet object. I'm taking the same bullet of this character and give it an angle zero and speed of 1600. And in the position, select Diego and his X position with the point shoot. Copy this and just change it to capital Y. And now copy and paste this whole event and change it to true and change the angle to 180 and also as we change this variable here we also have to change this variable in the character movements like here let's change it to shooting one and now let's add shooting animation for that add a new event drag it inside this group and in the condition add when the new character is moving and when he just fired this condition and also add a trigger once and in the action we'll change the animation 
by name select the character and set the animation to shooting while running and now copy and paste this condition and just make this condition inverted and in the action change the animation from shooting while running to shooting while standing and now let's see if it works but there are some bugs in the animation so let's just fix them for that just go to the character and in the edit points and here we replace both of these points origin and center in the center of this character like for an example i'm putting this points between the nose and lips but by doing this just uncheck this condition that share same points for all animation and you have to place both of these points in all animations manually i'll just do it quickly and let's see if it works and by the way place both of these condition under this condition and now let's see if it works so now as you can see the animations are working fine and the bugs are gone and now let's see what we have to change in the fire bullet behavior so first of all just uncheck this reload automatically because we're going to manually reload the weapon and shots per round will be 20 and this firing cooldown change it to 0.2 hit apply and now let's see how to make the reload so for making the reload just add an event below this event and in the condition copy and paste this condition and change it to right button and also copy and paste trigger once and copy and paste the animation action and change it to reload while standing and add the action that diego will reload the ammo and add another event below and in the condition check if diego is out of ammo and in the action copy and paste these two actions that's it we have made a shooting mechanism for our new character and now let's see if it works so when i shoot a bullet and click the right button he automatically reloads and now let's see how we are going to switch between these two characters for that go to the scene and in the variable of each character add a variable of switch currently the switch will be of boolean type and it will be true for chloe initially and we'll do same for a new character set it to boolean but this time it will be false and now let's see what we have to do in the events so first we'll add a new event below this event and in the condition check if a key is pressed and we'll select num1 and also trigger it once and in the action set the boolean variable of object variables select chloe and select the variable switch and change it to true now copy and paste this action just change the chloe to diego and change it to false now copy and paste this whole event just change num1 to num2 and just change these values true to false and false to true and that's how we're going to activate the players and for that add a condition here for boolean value of object variable select chloe and select the variable switch and check if it is true and now copy and paste this condition here and just change it to diego and in the action we'll center the camera on that particular player so this was for chloe so we'll just place it here all these three camera actions and also copy these action and change chloe to diego okay so as you can see currently my player is chloe 
and when I hit num2, it will switch to a new character, which is Diego. And when I again hit num1, it will switch to Chloe. But as you can see, when Chloe dies, it's not uh, switching automatically. So, so this was the basic switch. And now let's see how we can make it switch automatically when any character dies. So for that, copy this condition and paste it here and just change this switch to death and change it to false. And now copy and paste this condition here and change it to Diego. And now copy both of these conditions and paste it in Chloe. And both of these condition in Diego when he is dying. Alright, and now let's see if it works. So as you can see currently my player is Chloe and when she dies, the control automatically switches to Diego. Well the animations are not working here, so let's just fix it. So for fixing that issue, we'll just take this code which was for death for Chloe just cut it and paste it above like here you can paste it here and copy this condition and paste it again for diego so when diego dies we'll change the animation of diego to let's say we don't have death animation here, so we'll just choose hurt. Alright, so now let's see if it works. So yes, as you can see. So here when Chloe dies, the controller automatically switches and the death animation plays. And I also caught a bug. Uh, by the way, when Diego is shooting, the bullet will not really hit those zombies because the hit condition is under the condition when Chloe is switched. So you can just take this condition and put it above. Just take this condition and put it here, both of these. So this is pretty much it for this video. You can like the video if you like this tutorial and comment down if you have any doubts or feedback. And also save this playlist for upcoming videos and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye, take care.